I am ten years old, with blonde hair brushing the small of my back, some frilly floral socks scrunched at my ankles, and a smile too big for my teeth. I am in a bedroom painted pastel primary colors, complete with dolls that mimic the woman I may become. I'm standing in front of my mirror in elastic waist jeans and completely bare chested, gazing at my reflection, admiring the smooth slope from neck to navel, like a cliff face of flat stone, straight lines from every angle. I ball my hands into fists on my hips and think, yeah. <laughs> I'd make one good looking boy. Of course. I'm not a boy. I'm a daughter, a sister, a granddaughter, a list of names my birth had claimed, and I adopted two. My closet is full of dresses I received for Easter and have worn once or twice with silver shoes. Girl, woman, girl, green, yellow, green, the colors of life and light, this is me. But last night I dreamt it again. Curled underneath a quilt, stitched and built for little girls, I let go of the railing and ran. And ran and ran and ran, kicking up dirt behind me. I was not little girl. Maybe I was little boy. All I knew is I was soul and smile and had nothing to grow into. Just the universe as a road map. To run and run and run and run, and I woke up forgetting I even have a body to go back to. I know who I am. I am not afraid of what lurks between my legs or hints at my hips. But before the skin stretches, I will be this beautiful, flat-chested child, wild smile, eyes blue as the color I have not been painted, with grace in my wake. The world shakes when I run. I will be girl. I can be boy. Twice a lifetime away, she will slick her blonde hair back, tuck her button shirt into low-rise jeans, and look into that same old mirror. Twice a lifetime away, you might see her, and you might call her boy, and she will not correct you. Yeah.